there's also something about that conscious competence unconscious incompetence unconscious competence piece that sometimes when we're moving you know when I say to someone I want you to center your breath and take more pauses which is often the first place you go to them it feels ridiculously slow and if the audience say to you actually that pace was fine and if there's some footage I often get people to record themselves on voice memos on their phone if you listen back to the footage and it sounds quite normal, then your inner calibration of what good pacing has to reset. And I think, as you say, being in a training room with people, recording yourself, getting someone to give you feedback is essential, like driving lessons are for learning to drive, because you've got to reset the inner calibration. We're all stuck in habits, right? Hmm. All of us. Absolutely. I have vocal habits I could change right now, and I think it's really, really important for all leaders that there's a coaching process which is constantly testing those habits because then when you come to your teams and you invite them to grow, you're in the place of growth yourself. I think the worst thing you can do is get stuck. Think it's done because it's never done. I think you call it voice confrontation in one of your books. And I love that. <laughs> and out of that, obviously, growth can happen. So is your opinion we all we can all learn to love our voices? Oh, yes. I say this. When, when I left drama school, I went to see a really good voice coach called Barbara Hausman. And I said to her, I don't know my voice. This is after drama school. So, it you know, that was quite a brave thing to say. And the process of learning to love my voice was really exactly what I've just talked about. The process of gently using it. Like when you learn to drive, the best thing you can do is go out in the car every day in quite a gentle way without beating yourself up if you get something wrong. Paying attention, noticing how you're growing. Same thing with voice. Learning to love my voice was just about tuning into my body, tuning into my breath, committing to doing five easy minutes a day and then my voice just started to change and I had thought it would be hard work I would have to push I'd have to go and have voice lessons but it wasn't any of that I just needed to do what my voice teachers have been telling me <laughs> which is commit to five to ten minutes of relaxed easy practice every day it is that simple 